What's up everyone, welcome to RC Robotics, my name is Carl, I am your host and today we are talking about the Aquabot from Hexbug. This is a little uh, radio controlled, it's, it's essentially a little infrared radio controlled fish that uh, works when you put it into any sort of body of water. Um, I haven't taken out the package yet but I can see two sort of little sensors on either side of it. I'm guessing these are the, the sensors that sense if it is in water or not. There's a tiny little controller in there. Looks like we've got three channels. Yeah, we've got forward and backwards, left and right, and some sort of slider that says up and down on it. So I don't I don't know how it's gonna regulate how deep or not it is. I don't think that is. Well we'll have to get out of the box. Also got a few other ones on the way. There's a few jellyfish ones on the way and uh, a few different colours from uh, the fish line that I found. We've got a we're going to fill the bath up with water, we'll try it in the bath and then we've got a nice big fish tank downstairs which we could try it in as well if he doesn't stress my fish out too much because I do love my little Ethan and I don't want to stress him out too much so uh, yeah, let's take it out of the box and see what's inside So, this is the packaging, it's pretty nice packaging There we go There's a little fishy Oh, that, there's something else I did notice, you also get two uh, fresh batteries on the front on the, uh, the bottom side here so there's our little uh, fishy friend. Sweet. And he's on this little bit of plastic even still, so it looks like he's floating. So you can see this is our little control that we've got in here. And a little fishy. Check him out. Sort of, sort of silicone gel. And did he just... Ah, right, okay. So these must work on moisture because obviously I'm human, I'm alive. I have moisture on the end of my fingers. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's all. Awesome. And there's our little controller. Our batteries are all still already installed. Nope, nope. So I'm just going to stop myself right here, guys. Really so, as you can see right here, I'm being out. a big stupid idiot. I am not reading the instructions all the way through. And there is a tab. There is a plastic tab in the back of the transmitter. So, the, the, the transmitter is not even connected at ah. this moment in time. Carl, what are you doing? What are you doing, Carl? The, the transmitter is not connected. You need you need to pull the tab out the back. Read the instructions, Carl. Read the instructions. People, please read the instructions when you get things out of the box for the first time. So guys, that was the Aquabot Marine Fish from Hexbug. Um, I just want to go and talk about what the actual mechanism inside this fish is because I've seen the, the, the little magnets or servo, if you like, in the in the tail of this thing. I've seen these before in the radio controlled um, model aircraft industry. Essentially, uh, what it is, is an induction coil with a magnet in the middle of it. So essentially, the, sci the scientific explanations of this servo in the tail here is a function of a magnetic flux density 
for estimating the relative position from a magnet to a hole probe. Hole probe must be the bit in the middle of it. The magnetic servoing can achieve a contouring control with respect to a fixed magnet, and the magnet tracking can track a moving magnet. So actually why they use these sub-micro servos in a very, very tiny, lightweight RC aircraft is because not only can it, it change its position, it's not just on or off, it's not just A or B, but it can also track its position and hold its position. So I'll, I'll show you right now, actually. If you see right here, when we push right, it goes to the right. And when we push to the left, it holds to the left. Well, not only that, you can change the variable speed with this slider here. So if you turn the slider all the way up, you get full, full speed. And just turn the slider down, medium speed, or even slower. Now, essentially, this can only be done with one of these flux density servo magnets or linear magnet. So this is what we've essentially got in the back of the fish. This is from a radar controlled RC plane, this picture on Google. But essentially, it's, it's no different to what's in the, in the back of this fish. And what this looks like to me is an induction coil, and then you've got two magnets in the middle of it. Obviously, one's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative. But because of the, the arrangement of this induction coil, I'm imagining the, the, the different fluxes of electric electrons running through here are not only gonna change position from A to B but they can also hold the position so if you want you can actually use this as a servo but the thing weighs no more than you know a couple of grams so this is why they use them in these tiny tiny aircraft like that see tiny little rudder and these these things are absolutely tiny if you can see to the, to the size of his thumb that would probably you know that's that's going to be really really tiny so there you have it guys that was the aquabot from Hexball. A fantastic little toy. Um, the, the, I cannot believe the amount of technology and the, the, the amount of fun that you can have with one of these. Like the amount that Hexborg are knocking them out for. Um, just want to touch on one little thing. If you are going to go out and buy one of these, stick it in your own fish tank with your own fish. Please do realise that not every fish will be fine with one of these in the fish tank. Some fish can get stressed out and you know it's it's you can always play with them in the bath. You don't have to put them in a fish tank. I tried mine in the fish tank because my fish, Ethan, had had a little friend. His name was James Franco that we named him after the, the actor. Now, James Franco unfortunately passed away about two or three months ago and he had to straight down the toilet. Now, I have noticed Ethan's been sort of sitting at the bottom of the tank for a while, uh, sort of maybe moping and feeling sorry for himself. Uh, so I thought, you know, why not get one of these? So yeah, what I did is I just plugged it in the water I left it on, uh, on sleep mode inside the water just just to get the fish used to it. Let him swim around it. Make sure, just make sure that the fish knows that this isn't a threat to it. And then, sure enough, I started controlling the fish around the fish tank, and Ethan took to it really, really well. He, uh, as you can see in the footage, he he was swimming after it. He, he goes after it, plays with it. He uh, tries to yomp on the tail every now and then. But he doesn't seem bothered by it at all. He doesn't seem stressed out. So as long as he's not stressed out, that's fine. He actually seems happy that he's got a friend again. Um, so thank you very much for joining us here at RC Robotics, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So next time I upload a video, you are notified. If you enjoyed the content here with the uh, Aquabot from Hexbug, then let me know in the comments and I'll be definitely getting some more of their products. Um, I've just seen that they've released uh, a Robot Wars sort of little micro arena that you can you can battle with the robots. I'm definitely going to be getting one of those, definitely. So let me know if you want to see the video on that. Uh, I've been Carl Benyon for Arts and Robotics. Thank you and bye. guys, Carl from Arsenal Robotics here and with Christmas just around the corner we're going to be doing prize giveaways every single month all the way up to Christmas. So don't forget to subscribe to Arsenal Robotics so you don't miss a thing and you don't miss your chance to win a few prizes. Thanks for joining us today guys at RC Robotics. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you hit that subscribe button between now and the 24th of October 2018, you are automatically entered to win a Neato 180 frame. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell. So next time I upload a video, you're notified.